Hi there. I'll be sharing the approaches that I think have helped the National Frog ID project achieve its national reach and engagement with a particular focus on communications. The Frog ID project is uh, all about Australia's frogs. It's a free app for smartphones that is a frog field guide, and it's also a tool to record frog calls across the country. Uh, but for more on Frog ID, I highly recommend you check out these fabulous presentations from others in the Australian Museum Frog ID team who will be sharing more on uh, its achievements and, and national research and conservation. Between 2017 and 2021, Frog ID established donor and partnership support with organisations that have a statewide or national presence, uh, such as natural history museums and organisations such as Bunnings Australia. And this has really helped the Frog ID project engage with not only schools, but the broader community on a national scale. I use several tools and platforms to help with the communication side of my role. Several are free and offer a great way to create, create and schedule digital content for social media posts, um, newsletters, and, and also presentations. Uh, the Australian Museum Hepatology team produce blogs regularly, and these are really valuable in communicating the scientific outputs of the, of the project to a general audience. Uh, there are also uh, tools such as Canva, uh, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. Uh, they're really great to help edit and create digital content. Um, Monday has been useful for internal cross-divisional collaboration on key tasks. Um, Hootsuite is a great tool for scheduling content across various social media platforms. Uh, Nation Builder is a paid platform that we currently use for e-newsletters, and it has tools for managing huge databases of contacts and also coordinating donations if, if you are um, interested in doing so. And there are various presentation platforms we obviously use to connect with citizen science groups. Uh, across the country virtually. So these are a few user-friendly time-saving options that I have found good for creating content and communicating our project goals and findings. But one of the greatest ways that Frog ID has increased its national reach and data collection across Australia is through Frog ID Week, which is Australia's biggest frog count. It's held every November when most frog species are calling and it's a rapid audio shot of frogs calling and breeding across the country. So these are SMART goals that our marketing team set for last year's Frog ID Week. Uh, they're specific, they're measurable, they're assignable, they're realistic, so uh, they can be uh, achieved with the available resources that the project has, and they're time related, so you can specify when the result can be achieved. And so setting SMART goals really helps clarify ideas, focus efforts, and also use time more wisely with the resources available. Key communication strengths of Frog ID Week include the direct feedback that citizen scientists receive from our frog call experts. And they really help, these messages really help relay our main call to actions and also um, the Australian Museum's cross-divisional team working together on every aspect of Frog ID really helps. Uh, a Frog ID Week competition with a prize through a partner helped to leverage national reach and also helped perk the interest in, in new and in, um, existing uh, participants. And thanks to donor support last year, we were also able to deliver a webinar to regional schools and also create the first augmented reality Cape York Graceful Tree Frog. You might recognize it from our Frog ID logo. And it was launched on Instagram as a unique way to reach younger audiences nationally. <clears throat> so through Frog ID Week, we can really attract new participants. We can promote our conservation message and maximize user retention over time and target areas where we need more frog records. <clears throat> 2020 met all of our marketing team's SMART goals. And importantly, Frog ID Week over the last three years has helped collect over 32,000 expert verified frog records across Australia. So this is really filling important data gaps for frog conservation. The Frog ID Week is the most rapid data collection of frogs anywhere in the world. And that's thanks to the power of citizen science and the great communications and marketing strategies by the Australian Museum. So these various approaches through the support of different departments, partnerships and Frog ID Week events illustrate some of the ways that Frog ID is able to increase national reach. Um, it really helps having a key spokesperson um, from our lead scientists and other members of our team and radio helps a lot. And all of our key points of contact with citizen scientists really relay our key call to actions. <clears throat> So thanks for tuning in. I'm happy to meet outside of session to talk about Frog Eddie's communications approaches further. <laughs>